Hi, this is Mario with MIA Microflight and in this video you're viewing the MIA Robo Trike. This is a mini Robo Trike. This is a model that I designed several years ago, very much in line with the rest of the ultralight microlight products that uh, MIA Microflight has been doing, except this one has the control direct via the pilot. The pilot that is on board is a robotic pilot and it comes in pieces. It's manufactured from CNC machined fiberglass plate, arms, legs, and torso, which holds the uh, servos, which operate in a mixed configuration of the control bar to effect up, down, left, and right control. True weight shift, just like a real pilot controls a micro light, this mechanical robotic pilot controls the strike in the same fashion. Now, some of the things that I've done to uh, revamp this model is I've simplified the frame. The frame uh, used to come before with a canopy and a uh, motor cover. So I've removed those to keep it an open frame structure. And this was done to show the steering via the legs of the pilot and just to keep it open frame more simplistic and uh, a cleaner version of the original one. The model is about 48 about 48 inches wide and so each one of the leading rods in the original model had to be cut in half in order to ship it in a, a, a small box and so I've done away with that because it's more trouble to assemble the pieces you know couple them in uh, at the joints where, where the uh, struts connect and and so in order to avoid that for the user I decided just to make it a complete rod and you know ship it in a larger box and uh, and do away with those little parts and all those connections and all the, the extra pieces that needed to be included in the wing structure. So that's been uh, cleaned up and uh, as part of this uh, revamp for the 2017 kits. This particular ripstop nylon material that we used on the Robotrikes because it was one of the very first ones that we offered and I was concerned with weight at that time because batteries were not at the point that they are now. They were a little bit heavier uh, back in, in those days, you know, we used uh, night cats. So my concern was in keeping the structure and the wing extremely lightweight, and particularly the wing because the wings need to be super lightweight. If you keep the wing on any model very lightweight, your aircraft is going to perform a lot better than with a heavy wing. So the wing in this particular model has been enhanced with a sewn leading edge using Dacron uh, sleeving material and that's the white parts that you see on the wing so all the white trim is Dacron trim that has been sewn this is not taped as the original one was the original one used ABS sleeving for the leading edges to support the leading edge rods and also to support the trailing edge tip wing tips and it was simply double side taped to the wing and although we used industrial quality double-sided tape, it was great, but nothing beats, you know, a sewn um, leading edge sleeve. So that's one of the new things that we're doing with this wing. It's also it's got a, a center rib uh, pocket, which is also sewn. The uh, original model had two uh, ribs, additional ribs that were part of the wing. And so we, we've done away with those two ribs because the wing, this particular wing does not need it at this weight for this particular product it does not need the ribs except one single rib at the center to give you the curvature and the airfoil and the rest is um, done via the um, washout rods that give the model a particular shape that you see it in this video so we've done away with uh, many of the little parts you know for the structure of the wing simplify that made it a lot cleaner sewn the wing and now you have a very nice clean wing as you see it in this model here the landing gear is also something that um, was uh, bothering me from the original design. I mean, in my original thought with the original design was to make it really cool and really spiffy and add all these uh, extra braces, you know, just like the real ones have, verticals and diagonal braces for the rear section of the landing gear. And so that was my, my approach when I did the first one. But looking over those items, you know, it just adds a little more complexity in the building. It's not really necessary other than for aesthetical purpose and you know the model looks a little more perhaps more realistic 
I've done away with those things just to make it easier for the user and just to keep it very, very simple from a maintenance uh, perspective. You know, you don't need to deal with all those little extra braces. So I beefed up the rear landing gear axle. That's uh, almost uh, three times as uh, thick as the original ones were done. Now the original ones were much lighter and thinner, but they needed the bracing. So I've done away with that. It doesn't need it. And you have full suspension on the rear as well because this is spring wire that we're using, you know, but it's much thicker and the model is able to sustain itself on the three wheels just as you see it in this uh, video here. The pilot uh, is still the same pilot. It's got the, um, all the parts just like the original one. In this particular one, I've added a uh, foam um, applique you know, to the fiberglass parts and that's what you see as the uh, body in white, you know, the legs and the arms are basically foam pieces that have been double-sided taped to the fiberglass parts that, are, that run in the center of that kind of sandwich form, just to give it a little more three-dimensionality to the model. The foam pieces are not part of the kit. This, that's something that um, we're doing uh, as a, an add-on feature. You know, it doesn't need it to, to fly the model, and the model will, will look, uh, you know, the part just with the, uh, fiberglass pieces that are supplied in the kit. So that's something extra that uh, we plan on uh, selling as a separate um, item. If you want to get that, you know, let me know. Those parts are CNC machined um, with a special cutter, you know, to provide the profiles of the legs and the arms, you know, to give it a little more dimensionality and just simply double side tape that to the sides and that's what gives it the particular white body. The landing gear at the front uh, is a dual fork landing gear. Now, that's something also that I was about to change and make it into a simple single fork uh, or single axle uh, a steerable landing gear, but I could not get it as good as you see it in the videos, the original one. The original one, as you see it in this video, has uh, quite a number of parts, but it is necessary in order for it to have the suspension and also have the uh, stability in in directional control you know the two forks are a lot better than a single fork uh, single axis uh, uh, landing gear steerable landing gear in my opinion and so I kept that there you know even though it's a little more more complex and a little more more assembly time on the user but you have a much much better uh, front end um, with this particular model. This uh, model requires uh, three servos as the uh, original one uh, th that has not changed you know, you need two servos for the uh, control in mixed configuration for Alavan, uh, for the uh, arms, and one for the legs. The one for the legs is kind of hidden in the seat of the pilot. It only operates one leg, and the other leg that's next to it is a floating. As the uh, steering leg moves uh, the steering wheel, that wheel, because it's attached to the other leg, it moves it also in unison or in opposite directions, kind of differential uh, uh, movement. The specs on the motor and the servos are still the same. That has not changed and I would like to re remain with the same motors because they have been working great for many, many years. As many of the videos that I've shown already with this. I have done some new videos that I need to upload to my YouTube channel. So that's coming up uh, next. So this is the MIA Mini Robotrike revamped for 2017. And as I mentioned, you know, one of the major, major uh, things that we did was in the wing. You're getting a much, much nicer wing, much better wing because it's, it's now a sewn wing. So, but we're not increasing the price, we're keeping it the same. Uh, with all these upgrades. The only thing you're not getting with this kit is the original one back uh, a number of years ago, back in 2014, I think it was, is you're not getting the canopy and you're not getting the motor cover. Uh, just to keep it open frame and to show off the pilot is all of our radio control uh, micro lights uh, are, are done. It's not that, you know, we don't want to go 
all the way with canopies and, and add-ons and stuff like that. We've done that. We've shown that in videos. I've shown that in, in flight videos. I've shown the, the, them in uh, static uh, show and tell videos. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, the, the simpler you keep this, and uh, to me, the open frame radio control micro light, it's a lot better in many respects. You know, simplicity, assembly, um, you keep it lightweight, it gives you a little more flight time and uh, less things to go, go wrong with. Now, if you want to add, you know, the bells and whistles, you know, at the canopy, at the, the motor cover, you know, you can do that. I will probably have those as uh, add-ons uh, with this particular model. I don't plan on doing that right away because I have so many other products that I want to get out. The whole operation of MIA Microflight in these last uh, years has been to concentrate on microlight, ultralights, and, and some motor gyros that they were doing. So that is our main uh, concentration right now. So anyway, this is Mario with MIA Microflight once again. And this is the MIA Mini Robotrike for 2017. You can get one via our website or you can email me direct at miadsgns.cox.net. Thank you for watching.